following demonstration was recorded live over the public internet using a standard web browser. The server is 500 miles away from the client. One of the challenges to building effective enterprise class web applications is to somehow overcome the idiom of pages. From its inception, the web was built to either display information or collect information on a series of pages. And traditionally, in order to do anything with the information or the data, you need to go to the next page. But applications on the desktop don't work this way. It's a dynamic give and take relationship where upon entering data, you can immediately get feedback on the data that you've entered um, and is, uses more of a screen motif. So this is a demonstration of a food distribution application. And we're going to go through and enter an order. And what you'll see is that it's possible to build desktop-like functionality in web applications. So here we go. First, we'll, we'll see that it's automatically filled in the order date for us, so we don't have to mess with that. Uh, the date that the order is needed, let's say it is uh, next Friday. And the customer can pay with charge. That's fine. Now, when we go into the customer box, um, what we're going to do is a autocomplete lookup here. So the this page just went full circle to the database and brought me back all this information on the customer. What we can do next is start our entering order line. So let's say um, we want to uh, send them uh, some corned beef brisket, and we'll take ten of those and maybe some, let's see, what kind of hams do we have? How about a pepper ham, and we'll take a dozen of those. Now the system is, is giving me feedback here that I have entered a price where the default price is below selling cost. So we'll change that to try to come above the selling cost and continue entering items. How about bologna, and we'll do ring bologna. Uh, we'll take 15 of those. Uh, how some turkey? Honey maple turkey, that sounds good. And eight of those. And so we've got the beginnings to some good sandwiches here. How about some uh, cheeses to go with them? We'll, uh, Vermont white cheddar, great. Do four of those. And how about some Swiss? Perfect. So now you'll see that we've actually entered a an order. There are six order lines here. They're all in the database already, and we're still on the same screen. So as we've been entering information, the system has been storing that information in the database. This order exists in the database, and we haven't left the page. Now, aside from the, the autocomplete that we saw while entering data, uh, there are a few other uh, kind of advanced uh, application idioms taking place here. The, the first is is that uh, we can use keyboard control to just cycle down through these items very quickly. Um, we don't have to uh, point and click everything. We can, we can do that, but if you're used to using the keyboard on a desktop application, um, that's achievable on the web as well. Uh, th now the other at thing that's going on here is we're getting some real-time heads up data being pulled from the database for each item, things like the quantity on hand, how many of those are available, their cost, the gross profit, etc. And as we cursor down through these items, that information is updating live from the database, as you would expect on a desktop application. Uh, we don't have to do full round trips. We don't have to stick to a page idiom. We can get real-time information display when we need it. But now what if we wanted to enter a discount on one of these items? We can see that, for instance, this Vermont White Cheddar um, is, is priced fairly high. And they are ordering four. So what if we wanted to give them a discount on that? On, on a traditional web page, you might expect to have to go to maybe a discount screen and leave the screen you're on. That all takes a few seconds to load. But SolvePoint knows how to leverage the web and produce desktop-like functionality, such as pop-up interfaces for discounts. So here we can enter um, three different discounts. Let's say we just give them a $5 bulk discount. And just like that, the discount is 
reflected on this screen. It's reflected now in the database. And we've used desktop like functionality to make that happen. Another piece of functionality that you'll often see in desktop applications, but perhaps not on the web, uh, might be so simple that you're not used to seeing it. And that is some sort of dynamic displays. And these can happen in scroll bars. This can happen in being able to drag certain parts of the application or showing and hiding different parts of information. Where on a web page, usually what you see is what you get. However, it is possible to collapse and hide different aspects of a page in order to give the user control over what they see or what they pay attention to. And so, for instance, here we have an order header and the order lines, but in between we have kind of these additional fields on the header um, that not every everybody's going to want to look at for every order, so we can hide those. And then when it comes down to ordering lines, if, if you're fairly confident that the order header information is done, you can just kind of tuck that away. And now you can see more lines and spend more time productively working on the task at hand. One of the other common shortcomings of traditional web applications is record browsing. So here we are at an item maintenance. And so here's an entire list of our food inventory. Um, say we're looking for the current price of whitefish salad. Now who hasn't had the kind of experience where you log into your web application and you're presented with a menu from A to Z and so you click W for whitefish salad and you wait three seconds for all the W's to appear and then you're scrolling slowly through that list to find whitefish salad. You find it and you wait another three or four seconds for that to open up and present with that information then you look for the price list option and you click that and all of a sudden it's taken you 12, 15, 18, 20 seconds to find the data you were looking for. SolvePoint believes in using your time to do the work at hand, not in wrestling with your web application. So let's try to find the current price of whitefish salad. We'll go in here and search for white, and here's our whitefish salad, and we'll go over here to priceless, and here we can change the AAA level two price from uh, three and four retail and just like that, it's updated on the database. So what was that? Maybe two seconds to find and another second to update. And we can also see that we're not just giving pricing information, but we're giving formula prices. Um, we're giving some main information. All of this data is at our fingertips almost instantaneously as we click through it. And say you're, you're done with your whitefish salad and you want to see some information on your next inventory item. Clicking the next button here brings up the Vermont White Cheddar item, and now we have access to all that information. And if you're over here on Priceless and want to um, see Priceless for different items, uh, just like that, we're back to Whitefish Salad. We can go to our polo shirts. You can easily browse across items without even leaving the screen. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Everything you've seen has been shown over the public internet in a standard web browser with no plugins or helper applications. For more information on how to harness this kind of technology for your enterprise, please call us at 800-388-1850 or visit us online at www.solvepoint.com.